getting in. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? It really helps us out. It gets our channel played. No, crab. <laughs> ah. Okay, it really helps us out. It gets our channel played more and it increases our ad revenue. Holy crap, rock on. <laughs> now it's recorded. Oh, baby, I wasn't recording. We gotta do it one more time. I was too recording. I thought recording. <laughs> Take 76. And this morning we have a little surprise for you. Hint. We're in Santa Cruz. It's Grandpa's house from the Lost Boys 1987 movie. <laughs> My favorite part of the movie was Grandpa and that he did taxidermy and kept leaving his taxidermy all over the house. <laughs> Fun movie. I'm not gonna lie. Some of the folks walking around up here right now looks like the Lost Boys is real. <laughs> People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Women seem wicked when you're unwanted. <gasps> what are you trying to say? <laughs> Grandpa's house is nestled up here on the Pogo Nip Nature Reserve. Off to our next stop on the tour. Well, you know how much I love comic books, so of course we have to stop by the comic book store from the movie. It's a pretty cool place. If you're a Martian. Or a vampire. But technically, it's not the same one from the movie. It, the earthquake of 1989 destroyed it, so they had to move a couple times. But the owner is still the same owner. This is the movie prop. That's the original right there. I'm Joe and Nate show <laughs> on the Katie and Chris show. And I'm Joe Keith was Francis. in the original movie. Owned he owned the comic, the comic book store, but he actually had an appearance in the movie. Yeah, I did. That's I was awesome. in the movie for like three seconds. <laughs> and um, it's right here. You know, I said, oh, did you see that? And if you crank the volume to eight, you can hear me say that. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> and you're not supposed to talk in a movie unless you have a SAG card, right? That's true. So I have a credit on IMDb. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's fantastic. And uncredited credit. You know, we didn't see the script. We didn't know any. All you see is this one scene they shoot all day long, over and over again, you know. We had no idea it would become such a cult classic. It's been over 30 years, and every day we, we talk about Lost Boys. Somebody comes in. <laughs> That's so every cool. Day. And not just from around the area or the country, but from around the world. Because it's cool. I mean, who who doesn't want to be a couple of teenage boys killing vampires? Yeah. <laughs> in a comic book store. <laughs> in a comic book store. <laughs> That was a really cool store. Joe and Nate are really nice. That was so cool hearing the stories from back when the movie was filmed from Joe. <laughs> when you come to the boardwalk, there's free parking at 510 West Cliff Drive. <laughs> um, other than that, you can park closer, but it's $5 for the day. Smell that sea air. We're walking up the wharf. Here. I think both. Huh? Here. Yeah. It could not be a more perfect day out here for this. And there's our car right over there. This is Max's video shop in the movie. The Wyland print. This place is supposed to have the best clam chowder. New England clam chowder with oyster crackers. It's creamy, has a lot of pepper in it. I give it a solid seven. This cup was six eighty-three. This is the longest pier on the west coast. Is it really? Yeah. That's pretty neat. I know. 
Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. I googled the best taco places in Santa Cruz and this was up towards the top. We got the crispy beef taco and the chicken soft street taco. Start out with the chicken soft. A lot of meat on it. Meat's fine. Sauce is tangy. It's pretty good. Um, $3.25 a taco for the area. It's a pretty good price. Start the beef one. Definitely a lot more flavor in that one. It's got some lettuce and cheese with it. Crispy shell. It's pretty good. Oh, I really like the crunch of the crunchy taco. The meat has a little, a little bit of spice to it. Okay. Hands down, the crunchy taco is better. That's what I thought too. <laughs> We're off to Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk because it's supposed to be really cool and part of the movie was filmed here. I tried the bathroom down here at the boardwalk and the only thing going for it is it had toilet paper. <laughs> it was disgusting. That bad, huh? <laughs> yeah. I guess gotta stand as a reason. Nice beach area though. You can park right across for five dollars a day. Here's another shot from the movie. There's still a little bit of stuff here open at the boardwalk, but not much. Snack bar or two, a couple games, but for the most part, the beach. The list of all the movies filmed down here at the boardwalk. This is the last wooden roller coaster in the world. I'm sure it's safe. It was built in 47 days in 1924. Wow. Kind of glad it's closed. <laughs> Beach time. Oh, that's nothing compared to Maine. Uh, or that's, Australia. That's way warmer uh, than Maine, way uh, warmer than Australia. But still too cold for me. At least to be swimming and frolicking. It actually yeah. feels nice on the feet though, doesn't it? Yeah. This is our first time at a beach in months. The last beach we were on in Maine, and let me say, that wasn't any too beachy. Uh, no. So we haven't been on a good beach since we left Mexico, since all the beaches in Florida were closed when we were there. This is well needed. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> Yucky. Ew. <laughs> like and subscribe. Oh, if that doesn't get subscribers, nothing well. <laughs> I may or may not be filming your tush. I may or not be thinking about chocolate and vanilla swirl ice cream. <laughs> what is this guy doing on the beach? Hey, imagine meeting me here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I only live here. Well, a few miles away, but this is actually the first time I've been to the beach this year when the sun has been out. So uh, why are we uh, running into you out on the beach, buddy? Well, <laughs> because my GoPro had a problem. <laughs> <laughs> On our outro, there was no, no, no voice. Oops. So I guess when I was like, hey, I love his gear. That's why our audio sounds crappy. Yeah, I guess we're doing all right. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> what a great opportunity to see Lance again. And you know, we'll probably rustle up some food. I what? saw ice cream. Oh, we're in. Vanilla and chocolate swirl. And I have to have some could not ask for a more beautiful day in Santa Cruz. And I think I took down three planes already with the glare off my chest. We need more sun. <laughs> so I saved $5 in parking so that, and parked way out there so that I could come and have ice cream. Well played, well played. $4.99, parking's $5. You saved us a penny. I know. Can I have a bite? Oh, thank you. Oh, there's the carousel from the movie. Cry, little sister. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, our fearless leader is charting us a course towards burgers, I believe. Eight minutes away. Santa Cruz is absolutely gorgeous. Santa Cruz is absolutely gorgeous. I just said that. Oh.
<laughs> well, sometimes you want me to say things Great at the same delight. time. <laughs> Best burgers in town are supposed to be Betty's. I got the basic. The basic Betty burger. That's really good. You can tell the patty is actually handmade. It has really good flavor. The fry sauce or whatever sauce they want in here hits the spot. This is definitely a burger I'd go out of my way to get. Other people's fries taste better. This is far and away the best lettuce wrap on a burger that I've ever had. They do it proper. They've actually got firm lettuce on there. They got it wrapped up tight so it doesn't fall apart. You can actually eat the burger with lettuce wrap. Take note, other burger places. Love this and it's super tasty. Now we're gonna eat. As you can see, we're back on the road. Those burgers were absolutely incredible. Santa Cruz was amazing. What a great day. We picked the perfect day. The weather was wonderful. People were great. I loved it. It was great to see Lance again. Yeah. <laughs> glad, we, glad he got to uh, get his outro footage with us before we left the area. We just had to stop by Starbucks. Just a healthy little Starbucks beverage. You know, while we're on the road, we have the whole two hours till we get back to where we're staying. Of course, it's close to rush hour now, so it might even be closer. True. Closer, longer. Longer. Whatever. I yeah. know. Oh, oh, there goes my phone. Love seeing all the Lost Boys stuff. <laughs> that was fun. I think the secret highlight of the day was having the guy that owned the comic book shop be there. He had the fun stories he told us about being on the set and how we thought it was just, oh, you know, it's just some kids. This is just going to be this big flop of a, or it's not even going to be worth watching. And it has uh, kept his business going all these years. And just a really nice guy. Joe, he was Joe, right? Joe, yeah. Joe was just great to talk to. I only recorded a little bit of it, but he was awesome. So, in my word again. <laughs> anyway, going to let Kate drive? I know. I'm, I'm, I'm way over the speed limit. I should slow down. <laughs> Shh, don't admit that. Okay. All right, and we're out. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Click the thumbs up and subscribe. That was good. That was good. That was good. Like and subscribe. It is so you, darling. <laughs>